Good morning and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, uh, my name is Diana. I am a 12th year, mainly fifth grade teacher. Um, if you're not new here, welcome back. So today is Wednesday, March 20th, and um, I didn't get a chance to chat with you guys in the car this morning because my boyfriend had work today and so he was in the car and we were also running late. But today is the first day that I've been in school all week, um, but yesterday my kids IAR tested, so um, that was pretty much what was taking place yesterday. And today we are kind of back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, so today we got to finally start working on our expository essay conclusions. And so I showed you guys this last week with our concluding paragraphs. And I had showed you guys, we did our restating your topic with your three reasons. You're including your thoughts and feelings. I think I feel, and then your ending sentence. And so that's what we kind of did today. And so some of them kind of already started uh they copied everything that they did from all three of the expository graphic organizers and then they kind of put it all together so some of them finished some of them have not they're still working on that so that's kind of what we just did today um we didn't really have much time to do anything else because we were playing catch up and then things weren't printing for me because we were going to do our making works activity but for some odd reason, nothing was printing for me. I don't know. So uh, that's kind of what we worked on today. Uh, right now, I'm actually on my way to my PLC. Um, and so, and I've just been catching up on grading. Um, and that's pretty much what I'm going to do uh, because I just have a lot, not a lot of grading, but like new quarter. And so like report cards for our semester uh, already went out. And so now it's like our new term. And this is our last term, so I kind of want to get caught up on it now. And so since I was out these last two days, um, because they were IAR testing, um, some of them did finish the packets that I left for them, um, if they were finished, once they were finished with their testing, but then some of them didn't. So I'm going to give them that opportunity to do that this week, so I can at least put it in their work habits. Um, I don't know about how it works in different districts, but in our district we grade work habits so it's just basically like if kids are doing what they need to and so when i usually give them the packets it has like different components and then some things it has it's not necessarily tied to any standard and so um i usually just put those under the work habits like saying that the kids are like their work habits are good because even though i'm not here they're still completing those tasks so um but some of them did not finish and so I have some here that like I need to, they need to finish the last page or some of them that just like did some but not all. So like for example, this person started doing it and then didn't finish. And so that's kind of what's on the back burner and then everything else I've just been grading that I've been, that's been completed. Um, and then I just need to do our word ladders. And so I'm gonna do that during our PLC um, because I think today might be math. And if today is math, Normally, that's kind of like I just sit there with a bump, like a bump on a log because I don't teach math. And so since I don't teach math, usually it's a discussion around math that I usually aren't, am not a part of. So I will check in with you guys after PLC and I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. I'm having a fabulous week because I only have today and then tomorrow I'm taking a half a day. And then Friday, we only have a half a day with the kids. We will be here all day. It's our sip day, but we the kids leave at 11 30 and then from 11 30 until 3 30 i'm pretty much here by myself which can i can catch up with grading i can catch up with lesson planning for the following week after spring break because next week is spring break i'm so excited hope you guys are too um i don't know if leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys are already on spring break or if you have not made it to spring break yet or if you're already done and you're back at school and that would suck but anywho, I will check in with you guys later. So it is the end of the day. Um, it's about 4.18. I am about a little less than an hour past my contract time. Um, but unfortunately, I have to stay because, like I said, my boyfriend has work today and he has work tomorrow. So, um, well, he has work tomorrow, but I think um, 
that might be a little bit different because I am going to take a half day tomorrow. So I will be leaving early. So I won't be here past my contract hours. However, today I do. So he gets off at like 430, I think. And so by the time he drives over here to pick me up, um, should be fine. I am um, just making some plans on some things that I need to kind of make some plans on um, for the next day and whatnot. So today uh, in our afternoon class, we just continue to work on our conclusion and then um, we wrote up our conclusion. Um, I feel like a lot of them, some of them in that class, I think seem to have finished more um, their conclusions in my other last class, but uh, overall, I did have some students who didn't finish the second portion of the graph. So like they had done the topic paragraph and they had done like their three reasons, but they didn't like elaborate on their three reasons. So I had some of them that were kind of working on that today, as well as some that were already <clears throat> to the point where they could have done the conclusion and they did. Um, I did have some of them were able to write it out. Some of them actually got to the point where they had finished all the graphic organizers but they didn't get a chance to write it out. So I think that we'll work on that tomorrow. I'm hoping I can get that done so that way I can have those ready to go for spring break and I can grade them and then they'll be good to go um, for uh, my beginning of quarter three or term three uh, grading for writing. And so just a long day, excuse me. Um, I mean, not too crazy. Kids were okay, they weren't too overly crazy, but it's just been, you know, it's it's the week of spring break or, you know, the week before spring break and it shows. So, but I mean, overall, they're not too crazy. Like there's not a lot of like rowdiness, just chattiness. Um, and then of course we do have a lot of like moving parts. Like I have a lot of kids that are like, some kids that are out that are like going on vacation already. And so, I don't know, I'm just like so ready for break. Um, yeah, so like I said, I will be here tomorrow only in the morning. I've already printed out my plans for tomorrow. Um, and then uh, Friday, we do have a half a day for SIP. So this will probably be a short vlog because I only have today, tomorrow, and Friday. And both of those days are half days. So, um, so yeah, so I mean, there are not really much exciting things going on this week. You know, like I said, just with Spirit Week and then trying to get these things wrapped up. So there's not a lot going on, but I still wanna keep up my schedule and vlog. Um, but overall, I think the graphic organizers really helped the kids in being able to envision there was only maybe a couple that I see really struggled and it wasn't more so that they struggled with the organizer and how to organize their ideas it was more so coming up with the ideas like one of my kids wrote about um cockatiels and he was having a really hard time in explaining like what like why they were his favorite um but uh, uh hold on one second the janitors come in and I'll check in with you guys in one second I'm back. Um, yeah, I can't complain. I'm very happy that my uh, that our custodial staff comes in and cleans up uh, pretty quickly right after we leave. Um, but sometimes it makes it a little harder to vlog. So um, that's always the struggle because like I'll be in the middle of like recording content or like just chatting with you guys and then they'll come in and then I obviously have to turn off the camera because it's like I'm sure they don't want to be in here while I'm talking. Plus, he's like vacuuming and doing all kinds of things. So, um, but anyway, so, um, but yeah, that's about it. So I think, like I said, tomorrow in the morning, um, I think I'm going to introduce these passages. I didn't do it today with my kids, which I should have, but because we were working on the conclusions, sorry, um, we were working on the conclusion, but we do have these passages. And so I did get them from uh Remedia publications and they're like daily comprehension activities. These are really good if you're trying to like help the kids work with uh, nonfiction text. And so the cool thing about these are that it has one for every day of the month. And so it like this one was March 20th and we were supposed to do it today and we didn't. Um, but every day it has like March 20th, March 21st, and it kind of coincides with that day. So like 
for example, for this one, it says the book was first. So she, this Harriet Beecher Stowe published uh, a book, Uncle Tom's Cabin, and it was first published on March 20th in 1852. So the kids are like, oh, wow, that was published today, but like many, 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 many years ago. So that's kind of what these are, and it's pretty cool. So I like it because it gives us a little bit of information and history for the day. Um, but it also, we also learn, and we learn how to read through nonfiction, we can't even talk today, nonfiction text. And then it gives us like these comprehensions. So like some of them are a little bit different. Like in this case, this one is like true, false questions. And then they have like, write the letters you've circled to like make like a sentence, like almost kind of like a mystery. And then five syllable words, four syllable words. Three, so it, it, it has a lot of good stuff on there. So I purchased it from Remedia Publications and I've used it before, especially for nonfiction text um, when my students are struggling. But this group doesn't seem to be struggling with nonfiction. A lot of them love reading nonfiction texts. Like that's kind of what they read a lot of. Like when I see them on Sora or I see them on Epic, they're reading a lot of information and they're learning a lot of information. Um, so they don't struggle with that. It's literature that they struggle more with. But um, I still do like those and I do like the history aspect of it because I think in this unit, we aren't doing social studies. It's not embedded in our unit for Lucy. And so um, we have to kind of fit in our social studies, you know, places or whatever. So we'll do like, you know, the United States, we'll do maps, we'll do geography, we'll do anything that we can incorporate social studies into. Um, or if like, you know, because it's not directly embedded, so we kind of have to embed it ourselves. And so that's kind of a little helpful as well. But anywho, so um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for him. Hopefully he's off soon and I'm gonna get ready to go, but I'll check in with you guys. If I don't check in with you guys later, it's supposed to be nice out. It's, well, not really. It's only like 39, 40 degrees, uh, but the sun was out. So, but yeah, I think it was a lot nicer yesterday. So I took my kids out to like the park and stuff and my son and my husband, or, my son and my boyfriend, <laughs> uh, that's a story for another time, um, went to play mini golf. And so he was excited about that. He loves mini golf and my boyfriend loves golf. So it's kind of like hand in hand. So uh, yeah, I, um, so yeah, so I guess I'll check in with you guys. If I don't check in with you guys later, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. And I hope you guys had a great hump day and I will chat with you guys later. Hey, so just checking in. We are at home and I am loving on my bonds. What are you doing, honey? What are you doing? She's so silly. She's so, she's always like, I don't know. She's so hard to read. Like she doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve like Clyde does. And it's like, we could never tell with her. It's so funny. Hi, bye. <laughs> she's so funny like she doesn't she's not a licker and like she's very like independent she's almost kind of like a cat dog because like we call her and she won't like come right away we have to like be like more assertive to get her to come and then of course we have her brother Clyde who likes to get jealous whenever like you're giving her or the other dog attention. Sasha, there she is. There's a bond, what's a bond? And she normally is not this frisky unless she wants something. So if she wants like a treat, if she needs water, if she has to go outside, or if she needs food, she's very like alert and assertive. But like most of the time. <laughs> what, what, you sit for me girl? She's so funny. But then he gets jealous and then he wants like love. And it's so funny. Um, but yeah, this is just my pooches. And then Sasha, well, <sighs> Sasha's just Sasha. Um, that is my boyfriend's dog. I mean, she's here in the house. Like I, I take care of her, I feed her, I walk her, I do everything. I just, I don't know. <laughs> and you guys were probably just gonna be like, I'm gonna unsubscribe, she's evil. But I just, I don't know, I, so long story short about her. So, um, 
I don't know, like this has been like a long time ago, probably like maybe like seven, eight years ago, maybe less. We went to a camping trip in St. Louis with his family and we had seen this camp dog once prior. And then we went back like the following year and we saw the same one. And we had thought that she was just like the camp's dog, like, cause they had dogs where they would like roam around and stuff and they were just the camp's dog. But someone told us that somebody had abandoned her and that she was like living in this campsite. Now, it wasn't necessarily that I didn't want to take her, but I was like, why do we have to take her to keep her? Like, because we already had our two dogs. Like she had been out there, she was flea and tick infested. And I'm, I'm thinking like, she has heartworms, like, you know, or she's gonna bring something back to a dog. So I was like, let's bring her and we can adopt her out because St. Louis to Chicago, Chicago would probably have a better opportunity to have dogs and everybody like loves dogs. And so, but my boyfriend was very adamant about keeping her um, because everybody was just like hyping him up. Like his family was just like, yeah, take her, we'll help you, we'll, we'll do whatever. And so they hyped him up so much that he was like, we're keeping her. And so I was like very upset because again, I'm like, we have two dogs, now we have three. Um, and again, like everybody's always like, you are so un mean and you didn't want to take her. And I'm like, no, that's not the case. It wasn't that I didn't want to rescue her because I love animals. Um, but I was just like, I didn't want to keep her. So long story short, all these years later, I just never really had a connection with her. But again, like, I'm, you know, I'm very nice to her. I'm very sweet to her. I do everything. I'm just not, I guess, as affectionate with her as I am with my other two. But I know people are going to come for me. People are going to come for me and be like, it's like a stepchild. <laughs> But, I mean, but again, I'm never, like, mean to her. I never, like, I do everything the same with her, with them. Like, I, if they get treats, she gets treats. If, like, I give them table food, she gets table food. Like, she doesn't get treated any differently. I'm just not as affectionate with her. Like, I am with the other two. Um, but my boyfriend gives her all the love and attention. And my kids absolutely love her. And, like, because she's so little and she looks like a little roly-poly because she's so chubby. She was not that chubby, by the way, when we got her. She was a lot skinnier. Over the years, she's been living good, as you can see. But we don't know. I mean, we don't overfeed her. But she doesn't have, like, a thyroid. But she's just really chubby. But she, it's funny because we always call her a circus dog because she could sit on her butt and sit up. And so we call her, like, a circus dog. But my kids absolutely love her. So she gets plenty of love and attention. I'm just saying that, like, if you don't see me, like, being all, like, crazy with her, it's because, like, the other two is just... I don't know. Um, but again, don't come for me. I mean, like I said, I treat her well. She's great. Mamas! So she's just, I think it was just the circumstances and how things happened that it just kind of just ended that way. But, and then I have this fool right here. His favorite, absolute loot favorite. Loves to sit on the stairs. He's a goof. I don't know. But anyway, that was that is what goes on in our household. Um, my children are upstairs. They're watching Inside Out which is crazy because my son's like, I wanna watch Bluey. And then he puts it down here and then he's upstairs. And my, cause he doesn't wanna be alone without my daughter. And then they're both upstairs watching Inside Out in my bedroom. And then my mom's downstairs watching La Rosa de Guadalupe because you would think she was like a 50 year old Mexican lady, but she's at, well, she's like a 63, 64 year old Puerto Rican lady who loves watching La Rosa de Guadalupe. So that's what she's watching down there so and we have one more tv that is unoccupied which is in the kids room but no matter where i go if i go in there they find me and so i'm just like out here because it's like my son will be like mom where are you and i'm like in the playroom but where so i'm just out here on the open so if somebody needs something i'm at their service and that's my day so we will be getting up in the morning and be doing it all again tomorrow so, but I just wanted to check in with you guys and just kind of let you guys see how it goes in here. My boyfriend's not here. He actually had a meeting with the baseball association because he's going to be coaching my son's little league team this year. And so they had like a coach's meeting today. And so he had to go there. So he's been there probably for like about an hour and a half. So I don't know what's going on over there, but he ended up having to go over there. So that's why, as you guys know, I'm recording at home because he's not here. So, but anywho. Hopefully you're having a great evening. I am going to figure out what I'm gonna do to get these children to bed soon because my son has school tomorrow. 
night of school tomorrow. So, hope you have a good evening, and I hope you enjoyed this snippet of my home life with my pooches. So, good morning and happy Thursday. Well, I was gonna say Wednesday. Um, happy Thursday. Today it is Thursday, March 21st. I am on my way to work. It says I should be there in about nine minutes. So, um, I just dropped my boyfriend off. He actually never gets dropped off first. It's usually vice versa. But um, today I have to leave work early. I have a prior engagement. So, I have to leave um, half day and then uh, go do what I need to do and then go pick him up uh, in the afternoon. And then um, this evening I have, my son has literacy night at his school. And so he was telling me that there is this author that um, is gonna be there from this books, couple books that he's read. So um, I think I'm gonna probably take him over there. I think it's from like six to eight. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but today on the agenda is we are just gonna be finishing our essays in class um and then i'm going to hand back the work packets that we were supposed to do on monday and tuesday for those of us that did not finish um and a lot of people that did not finish uh the thing that they didn't finish was the adjectives worksheet that they were supposed to finish um and that's probably the one that was the most important because the other ones were just like vocabulary like word searches and things of that nature but um I, uh, sorry, um, but yeah, so the one that was more, uh, pressing was the adjective ones, which a lot of people didn't do, so I might have to give those back to them, um, but yeah, we're just gonna hopefully finish our essay and have it written on paper so that everybody can turn that in, and then I think we are gonna be good to go, um, and since I'm only gonna be in my first class, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, and then my second class, I'm just gonna have the sub make sure that they finish their essays as well as um, have some extra work for them as well so um, that's pretty much gonna be my day and then tomorrow like I said it's gonna be really easy breezy because I'll only have again my morning group um, I don't know if we'll be switching um, I know my partner usually will like to switch on those half days so she can get like an hour with my group and an hour with her group so um, I don't know if we'll be switching but either way um, We'll only have the morning and then the afternoon will just be ours. Um, and then after that, spring break, here we come. So, so I'm super pumped, super excited. I technically, if I combine both days, I only have one day left for spring break. So, um, yeah, on my way to school, I should be there shortly and I will chat with you guys. I guess on my PLC because on my lunch I won't or I'll, if I I mean if I don't check in with you guys for PLC which I probably will um, I'll check in with you guys in the car on my way home but let's count on PLC so I'll check in with you guys later hope you're having a great day good afternoon it is 12 37 and I am headed to my appointment um, well my appointment is until about like 2 15 so I'm gonna head home first, maybe have some lunch, and then I'm gonna head over to my appointment. Um, yeah, so today was pretty simple. Uh, students finished working on their conclusion paragraphs. Um, we did some word ladders, we did some make words. Um, it was pretty chill, pretty basic, nothing too crazy. And so um, my afternoon class uh, won't necessarily be doing the same thing because I won't be there, but I did leave them instructions on finishing at least their writing piece. Um, and then just do some packets, uh, that consist of like language, um, some, you know, and then I also gave them a couple of like fun activities like Mad Libs and some word searches, just all just words, words, words. So, um, yeah, I'm heading home now. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit, let you know, um, how things are going if not I will check in with you guys tomorrow uh, tomorrow is Friday and we have our half a day as well I mean again we'll be in the classroom till 3 30 but students go home at 11 30 and so we'll have that afternoon kind of to ourselves to kind of lesson plan 
or catch up on any grading or anything that we need to do uh, before spring break kicks. So we are literally one day away before spring break. I'm super excited. So again, comment down below and let me know if you are already on spring break, if you were like me counting down the day till spring break, or if you've already had your spring break and today or this week was your first week back. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully I will chat with you guys in a little bit. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Thursday and I'll check in with you guys later. How's it going? It is Friday. We have made it. We made it. So um, today is a half day. So right now it is 1027. Um, we are only in school. Well, we are in school till 330. But the students are only here for another hour and uh, they're in specials to about 1110 and then they will be back for the last like 20 minutes and then they are gone for a whole week <laughs> and I am living for it. Um, so today it was just pretty much, um, there was not a lot going on um, because I wasn't here yesterday. So I just had some of the kids finish their packets um, and then just kind of took it a little easier. My partner wanted to switch and so we ended up switching. So I only had them for like an hour. And so there wasn't really much to do. Um, and so, yeah, I am just very excited. I am actually on my way to PLC and then we'll probably end up picking up the kids and then have them dismissed at 11:30, and then we'll probably have lunch together as a group like we normally do at um the restaurant that we always go to so and then after that I don't know um just kind of hang out and get some grading done and count the day or count the days oof no count the hours and minutes until it is 3 30 to go on spring break for a week. I'm super ecstatic. I hope you guys are too. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys probably after the kids are gone. So I will check in with you guys later. So it is officially spring break. It is 322 and I'm in my car on my way home. But I don't know if you can tell. Let's see, maybe if I load on a window, you can, no, you still can't see it. Well, you can see the wet, but it is snowing outside. I'm gonna have to show you guys in a few minutes, but it is snowing. So it is not spring break for me <laughs> because I just imagined spring break. It's, you know, I would have loved for it to be sunny outside and like fresh and just flowers. And no, mother nature was like, psych you're getting some snow and you're getting 35 degree weather so um that's where i'm at so yeah it is snowing but i'm hoping i mean it doesn't look like it's going to be sticky snow which means it's probably not going to stick very well um and uh it'll probably be melted in the next few days um but yeah so that's kind of where we are um but yeah my day as i said was pretty uneventful after my hair is a hot mess because of the snow um i mean what am I, am I kidding it's always a hot mess um but yeah so we ended up going to the restaurant had lunch together um got to spend some time together which was nice and uh we pretty much just kind of you know planned and stuff for the next following weeks that are coming up and just kind of chit chatted and hung out and got ready for spring break so and thankfully they did say that we could leave early so we were excited about that so we just headed out the door so now i'm actually on my way home to pick up my mom and my kids and um i'm gonna drop my mom back off at home pick up my niece we're gonna hang out uh we decided to do like a game night today so it's just gonna be me my sister and my niece and we're just gonna be playing some games um at our house and just hanging out uh my boyfriend actually just went to um michigan he went with a friend of his to michigan they're gonna go visit some local breweries and 
I can't decide which way I want this chair to go. It's either two back or two forward. Um, we're, we're gonna, they're gonna go visit some local breweries and then I think they're gonna play golf maybe tomorrow. So, um, so yeah, so he's gonna have a nice time today and uh, yeah, he's not gonna be home. So it's just gonna be me and the kiddos and my sisters and my niece are staying over. So that'll be nice. Cause I know my kiddos have not had the opportunity to like spend the night with my sister in a while. And so that's gonna be fun. And then my sister wants to do some things um, over the weekend. Like I think my daughter's last gymnastics class is tomorrow and she wants to go to like Ikea and stuff. So that's probably what we'll do to kick off my spring break. Um, I don't know if I will record for spring break. Um, just, you know, cause A, it's, it's all gonna be like mom content. So just me and the kiddos at home and whatnot. But um, I don't know, I, it's gonna be a game time decision to decide whether or not I will record, I don't know. Um, if I do, maybe I'll do a couple of days next week. Haven't decided, but I think when we come back from break, um, I think in my next vlog, I plan on sharing some important news. And so you guys will have to wait next week, or at least the week after, to get that news. But I'm planning on sharing some news um, that's gonna change a little bit about my life and what's going on. So, um, so just hopefully if you are subscribed, make sure that you tune in. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so that way you'll get the notification so that way you can tune into my next video and then find out what that is. I'm sure you guys cannot wait because I cannot wait to share it. But nonetheless, I hope you all had a great break. I know this week in this vlog was probably a little bit on the blah side. Um, and I don't, I guess I'm not, I don't want to say the blah side, but it was on the kind of like very short and sweet side, not like the full extensiveness because A, I was off two days and B, it just, it's the week before spring break and it's just the reality of a teacher. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great spring break. If you are a teacher and you are on spring break, if not, I hope you have a great weekend and I will chat with you guys in the next video. And I do want to say I love and support all of you. And I'm so, so, so grateful for all the people new that have come on and subscribed, as well as all those that have been following me since the beginning. Um, I'm hoping to only continue to produce these videos. And, you know, please leave comments about what you like to see, what's your interests, what you do like, what you don't like. Would you like to see more mom vlogs? Because, I mean, I know that's kind of how I market myself. But just... Um, you know, nine out of 10 times, I just don't know if that's kind of what people are looking to see. Um, my kids are hilarious. And I mean, I know I want to respect their privacy and not kind of blast them all on there. Um, but they just like being in the content. And so I usually have them on there, like not having to do anything, but just them be themselves and just be their typical selves. But it's more so not just to have them on there so everybody can be entertained, but more so just kind of see what it's like in the day in the life of a a mom with a five or six year old who works as a full-time teacher and just I don't know we were just having this conversation about um like motherhood and how like it never prepares you for anything and so I don't know I just think it's a really good thing I mean even though you know a lot of people will probably be like well you know you should probably keep your kids private and I agree but at the same time it's like I would love people to be able to see what they're going to get into um, because I would have loved to have been able to see those things when I wasn't allowed to be like, oh, because then maybe my approach would be a little bit different. I don't know. But, anywho. Um, but yeah, again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you. You have no idea. And, I mean, because you don't have to watch me. There are plenty of other people out there that, you know, you could be choosing to pick. Or choosing to pick. You hear me? spring break um choosing to watch and you're choosing to watch me and that speaks volumes to me so um but yeah uh don't forget like subscribe if you want to and i will see you guys in the next vlog